Hi, my name is Jing Huang. I'll be presenting our work on orthogonal relation transforms with graph context modeling for knowledge graph embedding. This is joint work with my colleagues Yun, Guangtao, Xiaodong, Bo Wen at JGAI Research. I'll start with introduction on knowledge graph embedding and review some related works. Then I'll present our new proposed orthogonal transform embedding OTE and how to add graph context to OTE. Then I'll present our experimental setup and results on common benchmark data sets and conclude the talk with a summary. Knowledge graph is a multi-relational graph with node represent entities and edge represent relations between entities. For example, here we see Da Vinci painted Mona Lisa, this fact is represented as a head relation tail triple. These structured knowledge and knowledge graph are helpful for various applications, such as search, question answering, and other applications. Existing knowledge graphs are far from completion, and they are missing links and entities. So the task of link prediction is helpful for knowledge graph completion. Link prediction includes two parts, given head relation predict tail, or given tail relation predict head. Manipulating large knowledge graphs can be challenging. So for the scalability and performance issue, knowledge graph embedding was proposed for link prediction. Knowledge graph embedding represent entity and relations in continuous vector space. When designing knowledge graph embedding method, we need to keep some uh, challenges in mind. For example, we want to represent relations such, such that certain properties like symmetry, inversion, and composition are kept. There are also difficult cases like one-to-n, n-to-one, and n-to-n relations that are very difficult to predict. Here we are showing an example as head entity as only, relation as director of, and you can see tails can be many of the movies that only directed. So this is a one to n case. Now let's review some knowledge graph embedding methods. The well-known one is called TransE. In TransE, relations are represented as translation in embedding space. This picture shows the geometric interpretation of TransE model. However, TransE fails to model symmetric relations and also difficult to handle one-to-n, n-to-one, and n-to-n relations. There are many distance-based models one of the recent state of art is called Rotate E. Rotate E models re relations as rotation in complex plane. So it's a 2D orthogonal transform. Therefore, it's symmetric inverse and has a composition property. However, Rotate E is also difficult to handle one-to-n, n-to-one, and n-to-n relations. Motivated by Rotate E, we propose to model relation as orthogonal transforms in high dimensional space. Therefore, we extend 2D Rotate E from over to high dimensional space. We call our method orthogonal transform embedding. To deal with one-to-n, n-to-one, and n-to-n relations, we add graph context to OTE. Next, we'll talk about OTE in details. Given our triple H, R, and T, we first project embedding of H, R into tail space, or project R and T into head space, and compute the scores. The matrix MR, the model relation, is transformed into orthogonal 
matrix by using grand smith process. So now relation R is represented by phi MR, which is an orthogonal transform. It holds the symmetry inversion and the composition property. Therefore, it extends rotate E to higher dimensional space. Like rotate E, we group the in entity embedding into K subgroups. And the distance score will be the summation of the K subgroup. This summation has an ensemble effect and give us performance boost. To add graph context to OTE, for a given tail, we add all pairs of head relation into its context. For a given head node, we add all pairs of relation tail into its graph context and then compute the distance scores. For a training triple, we compute OTE scores, the distance score, and the graph context distance scores. The training loss is margin-based loss trained with negative sampling. Next, I'll show you our experimental setup and results. We use the common benchmark data set Freebase 15K237 and WordNet 18R and R. We use commonly used evaluation metrics, mean reciprocal rank, MRR, and heat ratio at 1, 3, and 10. The higher the value, the better the performance. We compare our model with various baselines, including semantic matching models, distance-based models, and GNN-based models. Some of these models are state-of-art models. This table shows the performance comparison of our model with all the baselines. And we can see OTE alone already outperform rotate E. And adding graph context to OTE achieve the best results among all these models. The numbers are taken from published papers. We also observe adding graph context helps on freebase data more than on WordNet data. This is because freebase knowledge graph has richer knowledge structure, graph structure. This table shows the ablation study on the dimension size for rotate E model and OTE model. We can see when we increase the embedding size from 400, that's rotate ES, to 2000, that's rotate EL, the performance only gain a little but the number of parameters quadrupled. For our model, we keep the embedding size as 400 and only increase the subgroup size from two to 20. So the number of parameter doesn't increase much, but the performance show a nice gain. This table shows adding graph context to both rotate E and OTE helps the performance. And again, our model is better than rotate E with graph context. This figure shows if we keep the embedding size as 400 and change the subgroup embedding from two to 20, we see a slowly increase of performance and the saturated at 20. Here we show that the graph context model helps in difficult one-to-n, n-to-one, and n-to-n cases. It improves on each of the difficult cases. To summarize the talk, we propose orthogonal transform embedding, which extends or rotate E from 2D to high dimensional space with orthogonal transforms. We add graph context to OTE and our model improves consistently over various state-of-art baselines, especially on free base with rich graph structure. 
On WordNet dataset, our model achieved a new state of art results. Our QA session will be on Monday from 10 to 12 noon Pacific time. You're welcome to drop by for discussions. This is the end of my talk. Thank you for your attention.